How's everybody? Good. Well, I was really the way, proud of the way our players competed in this game and finished the game. Uh, I thought we really started out well in the game. We just left some money on the table in the first half in terms of not scoring touchdowns in the red area, taking two field goals, then missing a field goal, then have an opportunity for a field goal at the end of the half and get a penalty and put us out of field goal range. So, um, you know, but I thought we controlled the momentum of the game until they scored right at the end of the half and their first drive in the second half. Um, but I was really proud of the way our players going down 14-13 uh, played in the second half. Um, after we got in that position, uh, I thought it was great competitive character on their part to uh, persevere, scored on offense, scored on defense, uh, controlled the ball, uh, played better on defense. Uh, we were playing them in dime most of the time in the first half, and uh, they were starting to be able to run the ball a little bit and keep us off balance. So we started playing nickel in the second half and played much better after that, um, which was, I think, a really good adjustment um, for us. But um, I think the, the front did a really good job of pressuring the quarterback, uh, which was probably a, a huge, I think we had 10 or 11 tackles for loss and you know something like five sacks or whatever. But a lot of times where they put a lot of pressure on a guy and threw off the timing in the passing game. Uh, so that was a really good thing for our defense. Um, you know, we turned the ball over a couple times a day, which could be huge. So, you know, it's good to have a week off. Um, and I want the players to get some rest, relax, get healthy. Uh, but we can't be relieved. We can't be relieved that we won this game um, because there's a big difference in rest and relaxing, working to improve, and being relieved. Uh, we got lots of games against lots of good teams coming up. Uh, when we start back playing again, uh, that can you know have a tremendous impact on what kind of season that we have. So uh, we got to continue to be able to persevere as a team. Um, on a down note, um, Eddie Jackson has a fractured leg and he will be out for the season. Um, you know, Eddie was a fantastic player for us, a great leader. Uh, I think an All-American player as a safety, uh, at least in my book and. Uh, we're certainly going to miss him, but um, what a great player, what a great competitor, and um, what a great guy to have in this program for the time that uh, he's been here. He's done a fantastic job for us, and um, you know I'm just sick for him and his family, and uh, I hate it that uh, it's one of the things about uh, sports, all sports, um, that we all have to deal with sometimes is injuries. Um, it's unfortunate especially when it happens to a great guy and a very, very good player, and we'll certainly miss him. Ask about the, the first drive of the third quarter when you guys get the ball back down one. Uh, what worked so well, and how big was that in the momentum of this game? Well, I think that was a big momentum play, and then I think when we scored on defense shortly thereafter, that was a big momentum play. And the, the, those, you know, we got a break on the rough on the passer on the first drive that gave us a first down on third down. So, um, but we took advantage of it, and we were able to score a touchdown in the red zone, which was really, really important. So uh, I think those two scores probably uh, in that short period of time were real keys in changing the momentum of the game. We'll go to the far side with Aaron. In a strength-on-strength strength matchup, their running game versus your run defense, how'd you, how did you guys limit them so well? Well, I, I think that – you know, it's not really strength on strength when they've got four wide receivers in there all the time and you're spread out all over the field. And uh, they've got some really good skill guys. And, um, you know, you're really playing five on five in the box most of the time, um, which is how we were playing, you know, a lot of the time. And uh, early in the game, we did a good job. Later in the game, they started spitting some runs on us. So that's when we started playing nickel, uh, which is what we probably play the best. And... I thought we did a much better job against the run. It created more passing situations, and we were able to take advantage and start getting off the field a little better on third down. We'll stay over here with Coach, I know the process doesn't change from year to year, but what do you think makes this team so lethal from all three phases of the game? Makes this team what? So lethal, offense, defense, special teams. Well, you know, it goes back to the players, number one. The coaches do a great job of – uh, developing the players, coaching the players, but uh, the players do a great job in their preparation, their hard work, um, 
their discipline and due diligence to go out there and everybody buy into doing their job so that uh, we have a chance to be successful. And, um, you know, there, there, there are many, many things that we need to improve on as a team. Uh, but I've been proud of the improvement that this team has made and the way they have responded and the way they've re competed um, all year long. This has been a tough stretch for us. We've had four really tough games. And uh, they've done a good job of playing with consistency. And uh, I, I think that's, that's the number one thing that we always strive for. Uh, I can't tell you what, what, you know, it's the players, the execution, uh, everybody on the team uh, on that particular unit doing their job. Uh, that helps some of the playmakers that we have make plays. Uh, and I think you have to give the players a lot of credit for that, and you certainly have to give our coaching staff a bunch of credit for putting them in a position to have a chance to make those plays. Just in the running game, what did you see from Damian Harris out there and also Jalen's running ability? Well, I, I thought that um, – Damian did a really good job. He had a chance to break a couple runs. You know, he's been, you know, nursing some leg injuries, and I don't think he had the same burst uh, today that he's had. Uh, I didn't think he had it last week either, but a uh, tough guy that really did a great job out there for us and uh, really had a great night. Uh, I was a little concerned how well we would be able to run the ball against these guys, and I thought we did a, a really, really good job up front in the offensive line of controlling some really good players that they have up front. Uh, they play a lot of sink eight-man fronts, a lot of, lot of, lot of pressures. Uh, so I was really pleased with the way our offensive line and, and our team was prepared to handle some of that stuff and uh, the way we were able to effectively run the ball you know, in this game. Alex, we, we talk about it every week, it seems like, the non-offensive touchdowns. But how important, especially emotionally, was Jonathan Allen, this fumble return? Well, I think it was huge playing the game. I mean, it's still a very close game. Uh, at that point, we hadn't really stopped them that first drive of the second half. And, um, you know, it was a long yardage situation. And we got guys coming off the edges, and they ran kind of a counter, kind of a boot type of play. And uh, we had good edges, and somebody knocked the ball out. And I think that was, you know, the real turning point in the game because I think it changed the momentum of the game. So. Uh, those plays are always huge in games, but uh, that one was especially huge in this game. Texas A&M came into the game with a couple of really explosive offensive players. What did you guys do to do a good job of limiting them? Well, you know, I, I, I thought that we did a pretty good job of covering. We, we made really a lot of mistakes in the first half, uh, not necessarily in coverage, but uh, and some of the adjustments to some of their motions. I mean, we turned the back loose one time. Uh, we didn't play the right coverage with formation into the boundary, and they, they hit a critical third down on us. Um, you know, the quarterback made a couple runs on third down situations where, you know, we had somebody assigned to him and we didn't get the job done like we wanted to. So, um, but all in all, uh, I thought our guys did a pretty good job of covering. Uh, they made, at least we made them make some tight throws. And they weren't able to do it, especially with the pressure, consistently enough to uh, make a lot of explosive plays in the passing game, which I think is real key to these guys. They're, they're, they are a very, very good offensive team, very difficult to defend this bunch with the skilled players that they have, the runner that they have, the quarterback that they have. Um, very difficult to defend all, all those guys. Coach, uh, you said at least from a uh, uh, coaching perspective, uh, one of the big adjustments in the game was going from dime to nickel. Sorry, if you, can you hear me? Um, and uh, I was just wondering, was that part of the game plan kind of going in, or was that the kind of thing where, you know, in, early in the third quarter, you kind of had to say, you know, we're going we're gonna to go do this now? Well, we just said we're going to go do this. I mean, we talked about it at halftime because um, they were hitting a lot of five, six, seven yard runs, which was getting us behind on the sticks. Because we're, we're filling the box when we're in dime. We're filling the box with a safety, not a linebacker. When you play nickel, you got a linebacker doing it. There's a big difference in that. Uh, and, you know, their runners are heavy. I mean, they did a good job of, you know, making a few extra yards after contact at times. So when we played nickel, we're a lot bigger. We're a lot bigger on the edges. Uh, and that's very helpful against this team, too, because they have a lot of perimeter plays to get on the perimeter. So uh, that adjustment was very beneficial to us. Nick, talk about the perimeter blocking, and I think your team does a 
consistent job of maintaining blocks down the field for explosive plays. Do you agree with that? And, well, and I don't think there's any question about it. Our receivers have done a fabulous job, and you know it really shows uh, their willingness to do whatever they need to do because, to be honest with you, we have some guys that are capable of making explosive plays, and sometimes we're, we're, we missed on some of those plays, and we have missed on them you know, some more than we'd like all year long. Uh, but I think this is a part of the process of the development of the quarterback. And, um, but to see those guys be unselfish and go in there and block and do the things that we need to do to make explosive runs and do what's best for the team is, you know, speaks volumes of, you know, them as team players and great competitors. Well, I was very concerned about the, the first drive that they had in the second half. Um, you know, they, they went through us, you know, pre pretty pretty quickly and effectively, and uh, we didn't do a very ju good job of covering. And, you know, that's when we made the adjustment. And, you know, I thought our guys really did a good job after that. Um, I thought the momentum of the game changed at the end of the first half and the beginning of the second half. and. Um, you know, the offensive drive right after they scored, you know, we always tell our offensive players the most critical time and the best time to score, and I said it today in the huddle, is after the other team scores. So when they scored and we went down and scored, that was, you know, big at answering um, and, and helped the momentum of the game. And then we played better on defense and shut them out after that and made some critical stops and also got a turnover for a touchdown. So I think the defense did a great job from that time on in terms of the way they played. Okay. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.